Rub us up with it. Do the do. So yeah, I'm gonna tell y'all what I've like been in the middle of doing, what I've been focused on lately. So I'm in the process of looking for uh, a truck. Looking to get my own truck and trailer. And I've just been doing my research and stuff like that. You, know, you see a lot of people on YouTube, maybe you have people saying, telling you to get an old, old used truck. Some people say get newer. But in my opinion, you really just gotta do what's best for your situation. Like for example, out of doing my research, what I come to find out is the, uh, the older trucks, to get a nice, decent older truck, you're gonna basically need a lot of, a lot of upfront money. A lot of upfront money. Cause you gotta think about uh, an older truck majority of the time, and when I say older, I'm talking like, like the 10 years old, you know what I'm saying, in that range, 10, 15 years old, stuff like that. Eight, even, let me see, about eight years, let me see, nine, 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 nine. Yeah, like, like, like 10 years old or more. You're not gonna be getting those majority of the time from a, from no dealership, so it's not gonna be no financing. You're getting that from a, a, a private seller, basically. And, so basically, you're not gonna be able to have no finance, so you're gonna have to have, to have that cash, have to be able to get the fine, be able to get the cash on your own through just having just cash on deck, or having being able to get you some uh, special financing like like personal loan or something like that. But then, like I said, if you gotta get the trailer too, you know what I'm saying? Who got money? Who got all that upfront cash just sitting on, you know what I'm saying? sitting in the bank? So that's when the problem becomes as far as like getting a paid off uh, truck. Cause those type of trucks, you're looking at about around like forty thousand. From what I'm saying, like, like like a good price range, like thirty to forty thousand. And then you gotta think about getting it ready for the road, cause you can't just uh, get one of those older trucks and just, you know what I'm saying, take off and start hauling loads. Like it don't really work like that. Like I'm pretty sure they're gonna need some type of work done on it. And then if you're getting one, even it's like. It's like no matter which way you go with the older truck, like you're gonna have to have a lot of upfront cash. Cause think about it, if you try to go even older than maybe 10 years or something like that, like I said, you might get a truck that, most of those trucks, they either already need a, a rebuild engine or they about to need one. That's the reason why most of the people selling them trucks for real, for real. Cause if you look on like truck paper and those websites and stuff like that, in that 40,000 price range, a lot of those trucks, seven, 800,000 miles, you know what I'm saying? That, that truck just about topped out for real. And you think about putting another engine in, from what I hear, that'll, that'll cost you between 20 and 25, something like that, 20, 25,000. So when you think about all that money you putting in up front, you gonna just about equal the same price of a new truck, a new work truck. So from what I'm saying though, my research is, you just starting out like your first time truck buy. Like trust me, if I had the cash up front, of course I would get a paid off truck. Like who wouldn't want to have no overhead, you know what I'm saying, as far as the truck, you know. But if you just getting your first truck, nine times ten, you the average person out here that got a family or you, you know what I'm saying, the average person. Like in some scenarios people can save up that type of money. Like I said, if you young, single, got no responsibilities at home, you can you can stack that bread up for a couple of years out here running the road. But if you got like responsibilities responsibilities at home it's gonna be real hard you're gonna be forever trying to uh trying to stack that money up to be honest with you you're wasting i ain't gonna say you're wasting time but you know what i'm saying it's years is going back you're trying to get that money up so in my opinion starting out when you get the truck for the first time the average person you're gonna need a new work truck like i wouldn't dig i wouldn't dig you know brand new spanking new truck like in the same year it is like X no, hell, X no, but I want to in a brand new truck. When I say a new word truck, I'm talking more so like between three to five years old. You know what I'm saying? Something between like 400 to 500,000 miles on it, something like that. Because these days, from what I'm saying, trucks ain't really lasting no longer than like between 600 to 800,000 miles. 
just from me looking and observing, you know what I'm saying, people on the internet with trucks and just, you know what I'm saying, because I keep my eyes open, I pay attention to stuff. So what I'm saying right now, new trucks with the death and all that on there, they ain't really going past 700, 50, 700 to 800,000 miles. You'd be lucky to get 800,000, but it's really like 650 to 750,000 miles, something in that range. But I just, for, for the sake of the video, we'll say, like 650 to 800,000 miles. The truck ain't really gonna last no longer than that these days. With the trucks, with the death on it and all the, all the stuff on it. Like I said, it's just me doing my research because I'm in the process of getting my own truck. I'm trying, when I was trying to figure out the best way to go for my situation. So yeah, but the older trucks back in the day, I, you see those on the, on, on the website and stuff like the 05s and 08s and stuff like that. Them drones back then, those last a million miles and stuff like that. But of course, just like personal vehicles, they don't make them to last like they did back in the day either. It's like them, them old school cars and stuff, them drones made out of metal. These cars these days, nothing but plastic for them. So, that's something to consider when you think about getting your first truck. Like I said, in my opinion, I think you're gonna have to go with like three to five years old, your first truck, just so you can have enough for the down payment. Depending on what field you're in. Like I said, I'm in car hauling, so you gotta get the, you know, there's no power only type situations out here. Like, you gotta get the truck and trailer. So that's the dilemma I'm in, trying to make sure I got the bread for the truck and the trailer. I can get the bread for the truck, no problem. But it's just it's having the money for the truck and the trailer. And other niches, like like the drive and stuff like that, refrigerating and stuff like that, you can do just some bobs there. You can just get the truck and just pull other people's trailer. They don't really work for the situation I'm in. Yeah, this is something to consider, man, when you think about getting your first truck, man. Like I said, do what's best for your situation. If you just got cash on deck, then of course it's best to, you know what I'm saying, not have no truck, no. But you still got to make sure you got maxed out on your cash, even that you still got money to work with for, like, maintenance and stuff like that. That's like, you know what I'm saying? I ain't trying to just throw all my money out and don't have nothing to fall back to protect myself. So, that's about it for this video. Just give y'all something to consider when y'all look for y'all first truck. I'm looking for mine. Bye,